Super Mario Odyssey. But let's give us some background information. Since joining Nintendo in 1991, he has worked on titles like Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Super Mario Galaxy, and many, many more. And today he's here to talk about Mario's newest adventure. It's of course Super Mario Odyssey, which is coming out to Nintendo Switch on 27th of October. So guys, are you ready? Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Koizumi. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kozumi. Nice to see you. Please take a seat. It's so good to have you here. Ah, and we are also joined by Alex, our translator. Hey, Alex, it's good to have you here. Hi. And of course, also Filippo, who is going to help us out with the gameplay. So, Mr. Kozumi, welcome to Gamescon. Hi, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. It's good to be Thank you for the warm welcome. I always enjoy my time here in Europe. Uh, we are so happy to have you here in Europe and especially here in Cologne at the Gamescom. So it's actually your first trip to the Gamescom, right? Uh, yes, it is. Um, it's my first time in Cologne and actually my first time ever in Germany. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ドキドキワクワクして楽しいですね。It's always so exciting to visit any country for the first time. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah, I see that. そしてあの会場の皆さんがあのお会いすることができてとても嬉しいです。And it's really great to see so many of you guys here in the venue with us today. It really is. So, Mr. Koizumi, you're obviously here to talk about Mario's newest adventure, Super Mario Odyssey. And I guess many of our audience members already know what it's all about. But for all the people who are not exactly sure what Super Mario Odyssey is all about, maybe you can tell them a little bit more. Yes, yes. Sure, I'd love to tell you guys about the game. Um, we on the development team thought it would be really cool to make a Mario game with the theme of travel. Yeah. We want people playing the game to get that sense of traveling to new places around the world and discovering things that they've never seen or experienced before. And to help with that, we've also included some brand new moves for Mario. So on this adventure, Mario is joined by a new partner called Cappy, who looks a lot like this. And Cappy gives Mario some new moves. So by throwing Cappy, Mario can capture an enemy, which means taking them over and using their skills. But that's not all. Cappy can also attack enemies from a distance, and he can collect items for Mario. So we hope players will enjoy experimenting with Cappy to see who and what he can capture. <laughs> that brings me to a question, because I see that you have your very own Cappy there. So is there any kind of specific Mario enemy that you would like to capture? So this is T-Rex. That's a very good question. I think it would have to be the T-Rex. Because, you know, another theme of our new Mario game is surprise. And I'd love to see the surprise look on everyone's face 
if I could transform into a dinosaur and rampage around the streets of Cologne. I can imagine, like, whoa, Mr. Kozumi going around. <laughs> nice. That's good. So thank you very much for giving us a nice explanation of what Super Mario Odyssey is all about. But I guess many of our audience members are questioning, is there anything new that you could show us today? Well, as it happens, yes, I do have a little something. Yes. えっとですね。I'd like to show you a new kingdom called the Luncheon Kingdom. Oh, I would love that. あの、見たままなんですけども、ここ、この王国のテーマ、あの、私も、え、旅先ですごい楽しみにしている。ま、それあの、食べ物です。so as you can see, the theme of this kingdom is something that I personally always really look forward to when I'm traveling around. That's food. Oh, me too. まあ、今回ドイツに初めて来て、あの、これまで食べたことないものいろいろ挑戦してみましたよ。And this week in Germany, I've been enjoying trying lots of different foods that I'd never eaten before. え、特にお気に入りなのはシュニッツェル。And I especially liked uh, schnitzel. Great choice, great choice. I guess there are many audience members here who are schnitzel fans as well, right? <laughs> Sounds like we have some schnitzel fans. Nice. So, Mr. Kozumi, obviously you came here by plane, but right. how does Mario travel? はい、そうですね。あの、マリオも同じようにオデッセイ号で王国から王国へ空を飛んで移動することができます。え、この、Well, actually, yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of similar. Uh, Mario flies between the kingdoms in his ship called the Odyssey. え、出てますかね。あの、この地球儀で行きたい場所を選んで、え、飛んでいきます。so yeah, you choose a location on the globe and you can travel there directly. So in this game, there's actually no central hub world, like for example Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64 or Delfino Plaza in Super Mario Sunshine. あの、マリオはオデッセイ号で、ま、とある地球を股にかけてクッパを、ま、追いかけるんですけど、追いかけてきます。And Mario is chasing Bowser around the globe in the Odyssey.いや、そのためには、行く先々の王国で、あの、オデッセイ号を動かすのに必要なパワームーンをたくさん集める必要があります。But in order to do this, he needs to collect power moons, and these are found in each kingdom he visits, and he uses them to power the Odyssey. And actually, there are lots of power moons hidden in each kingdom. So if you want to find them all, you'll have to explore really thoroughly. はい。それでは実際に料理の王国に行ってみましょう。Now, why don't we actually travel to the Luncheon Kingdom and take a look? Oh yeah, that would be great, right? Let's do this. So. Filippo, as you already have the Joy-Cons, please dive into the gameplay and show us something of the Luncheon Kingdom. Ah, the first seconds, I just love this game. I'm so excited for it. It's really beautiful. And I love the fact that you have this nice, nice, nicely designed world. There's so much to explore, as we can see right now. Nice. Okay, Peronza Plaza it is. So, as we can already hear the music right now, so what was this kingdom's inspiration? Well, you can probably tell from this music, but the kingdom was partly inspired by Italy and other European countries. Europe has a really rich variety of food cultures and cuisines, so when we were thinking of making a food-themed kingdom, it seemed like a natural choice to give it a European flavor. I also think this kingdom has quite a unique art style within the game. So some kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey look quite similar to our own world. An example of this would be New Donk City. But some of them, like this one, have a more surreal or cartoon-like vibe to them. Yeah, definitely. And as we can see, these forks right now, why do they look so unhappy? 
、あの火山の上にですね大きな鍋があるんですけれども、それはまあさらに大きなまあ鳥がとってるんです。Well, there's a big cooking pot at the top of the volcano, as you can see. This pot belongs to those fort guys, but also, as you can see, this big bird has come down and he's kind of taken over the pot. 鍋の中で気になりますよね。I bet you're wondering what's inside the pot. Absolutely, I'm a foodie. あこの,あの中身はですね、祝福の支柱と呼ばれているこの国の名物料理です。So it's this kingdom's most famous dish called stupendous stew. これをクッパが狙ってるんです。But Bowser's also got his eye on the stew. This damn Bowser. <laughs> so can you, can you tell us a little bit more about the crazy cap shot as we are seeing him right now? はい、あのクレイジーキャップがニューゾンプシティにあの本店がある大仕屋さんです。So crazy cap is a hack store which has its headquarters in New York City. あのコインやえそれぞれの国にある紫色のローカルコインを使って買い物することができます。So you can buy things there using the、uh, regular coins that you will collect throughout the game, but you can also buy things using the purple regional coins that are found in each kingdom. お店にあの帽子以外にも服が売ってたり、お土産物が売ってたり、えー、冒,険に冒険に役に立つアイテムを売ってたりします。Hats, clothes, そのお店でしか売ってないものもありますので、えー、お店見かけたらぜひ立ち寄ってみてください。There are also some items that can only be bought in one particular branch of the store. So if you see a crazy cap store, you should always make sure to visit it. あ、マリオがシェフの格好をしましたね。えー、じゃあシェフらしく美味しい料理作ってみてくださいね。So Mario's changed into chef's clothing now. Let's see if he can get stuck in and help with some cooking. This stew looks so delicious. Oh, well done. So. Now that we see this pink stuff, what is it actually? It looks so delicious. Can we jump into it? あの美味しそうに見えるんですけど、えー、とても熱い溶岩なんで気をつけてください。Well, it might look delicious, but actually it's lava,、oh. and it's very, very hot, so you have to be careful around it. Now, question is, how do we get across? そうですね。そこにあるいろいろそうなんです。オレンジ色のバブルにピョンピョンとね跳ねるバブルにキャッピーを投げてみてください。So you can see this orange lava bubble here. Try throwing Cappy at it. <laughs> oh, the capture that came out. Ne, これであの熱い溶岩の中をえスイスイと移動できるようになりました。So Mario has now captured the lava bubble, and he can swim freely through the lava. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, よかった。はい、ちょっとジョイコンを振ってみてください。早く移動できます。Try shaking the Joy-Con. It lets you move more quickly. あの実はこれだけ自由にヨーガの絵を動けるのはマリオシリーズも初めてなんですよ。And this is actually the first time ever in a Mario game that you've been able to travel so freely through hot lava. あ、ハンマーブロスですね。Now we've got some Hammer Brothers here. このハンマーブロスの。ハンマーじゃなくて、ね、フライパン投げてますね。These Hammer Brothers aren't actually throwing hammers, they're throwing frying pans. あのさっき、えー、のタイトルでチーズ岩の下にってありましたが、この黄色いのがチーズ岩です。And you might have noticed earlier that the title of this gameplay section was Under the Cheese Rocks. Well, here we have the yellow cheese rocks. 硬いので、これはどんどんとフライパン投げて壊してください。But you can't actually、uh, eat this cheese. You have to use the frying pans to break it apart. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, just a little bit. Ah, did that. Ah, did it, Masha. Hi. ハイパワームーン取れるようになりましたね。So we've found a power moon and now Felipe can go and grab it. あのこんな感じで他にもこの国には他にもパワームーンがありますので、えー、いろいろ探してみてください
but just like this, there are lots of power moons dotted around the kingdom, so you really need to try hard to find them all. 例えばあの火山の上に、えー、大きな鳥が居座ってましたよね。見え,見えますか And for example, you might remember that big bird we saw at the top of the volcano. That's a place you might want to check out. Come on, I can't wait. So, Mr. Koizumi, thank you so much for bringing us more details of this highly anticipated game. It's so great to have you here, and I can't wait for the final game. Hi, no, Kojira Koso, a Minasani Waidekte, to them, Tanoshikata des. Thank you for having me. I've really enjoyed being here. I've really enjoyed meeting all of you. それから料理の国を紹介することもできてよかったです。Really、あのこのプレゼンの後にあこのプレゼンの後にこのプレゼンの後にもう少しこの王国についての詳しいプレゼンがさらにありますのでそちらの方もお楽しみください。But stay tuned because shortly after this there'll be another live streamed presentation that's going to go into a bit more detail about the Luncheon Kingdom. それではあの10月の27日の発売まであともうちょっとあるので。それまでお待ちください。And the game is released on October the 27th, so just a little while longer to wait. Just a little bit, exactly. So, Mr. Koizumi, since it's so great to have you here, would you do us the honor and come to the front of the stage so we can get a big round of applause from Mr. Koizumi? And maybe he can also say goodbye. Thank you, Shen. Cheers. Thank you very much, you. Mr. Koizumi. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much, Filippo. Thank you guys attending our live show here, and thank you very much for tuning in. See you.